I did my first three years of architecture at the AA and um, I did very well there because the kind of work I was doing in prefabrication and construction was very much the mood of the time, the California school system, SCSD. Uh, so it all been very successful, but I was still petrified of making the transition at the end of my third year into working for practice for my first, for my practical year out. And, um, and then I saw, then I saw this April 1965 architectural design where Team 4 had won an AD award for weight. And I saw this iconic photograph of Richard and Norman, Wendy and Sue, and all the rest of the office and secretary hanging out the window, looking more like a rock band than a, than a bunch of architects. And I thought, they look like they'd be fun to work for. And I already knew some of their work. I'd already seen Reliance Controls published. So when I finished my third year, I went to see my careers master at the AA and said, I want to work for Team 4. He said, no chance. Everybody wants to work for Team 4. They just don't have enough work. So, so as not to be put off, I borrowed my um, father's car, Cortina, put in a portfolio, a couple of models I'd made, and drove to 16B Hampstead Hill Gardens on the first floor where the office was located, and um, just went there unannounced. Unfortunately, I arrived at the same time as the postman, so there was a bit of confusion. And Sue Rogers said to me, who are you? And I said, uh, I'm an architecture student from the AA. I'd love to work here. And she said, well, you know it's customary to write or telephone, don't you? And then Richard could hear something was going on, put his head around the corner, around the, the corner, and he said, what, what was going on? And Sue so said, oh, this student has arrived um, unannounced. He, um, he wants to work for us. And Richard said, well, I'm not busy. I'll, I'll see him. And um, so Richard saw my work interested Richard. He said, I'm very interested, but Norman and Wendy Foster, my other partners, are away on holiday in Italy for three weeks. Can you come back in three weeks' time and, um, and see them? So I did, and I saw, first of all, I saw Norman, and then Wendy came in, and I saw Wendy. And eventually, I got a letter on the iconic Team 4 paper <laughs> uh, offering me a job, and I started on my 22nd birthday in uh, uh, September the 26th, 1966. It was a very telling experience which I learned from. Richard was ill and Norman was on holiday and so I was running the completion of the, um, the, the houses at Murray Mews on my own. And um, I got a call um, one evening from the, from the builder saying, the tiler starts tomorrow and there isn't a drawing for him to work to. So um, I looked through the draw the, the, all the drawing, the, the drawers of drawings. I couldn't find a drawing. And so I worked through the night on doing this perfect tiling drawing, minimizing the number of cut tiles. Um, like I'd folded all the surfaces of the room out to do, uh, so as you could see, every tile displayed. Finished at around 3.30. I then went to the site at 9.30 in the morning to see the tiling contractor, and I handed the drawing to him. He said, uh, thank you very much. And I said, do you want me to explain it? He said, no, thanks. And um, he then um, went off, completely ignored my drawing, but did a wonderful tiling installation. These were very expensive Italian, imported Italian tiles, bright orange glaze. And I learned a lot from that, that um, about collaboration, about working with the people, with the, the experts, so to speak. Because I'm not so sure, as Richard says, that he actually wrapped, my, wrapped his fish and chips up in my drawing, but he certainly never referred to it again. And he did a perfect job based on the experience he had as a, as a tiler. Then on Reliance Controls, again, Reliance Controls was pretty well finished by the time I, um, by the time I joined. And, but I did um, a couple of details related to the entrance doors and the signage outside. But I also made a model for Norman, because uh, Reliance Controls was about 40,000 square feet, but it was always intended that it will grow three times. It will grow to about 120,000 square feet. So I worked with Norman and made a model in acrylic of how the full 120,000 square feet could look with internal courtyards. So Reliance Controls was enormously successful. And the use of prefabrication, they were much influenced by both of them, by things like the case study houses in America, 
uh, the California school system as well. And Reliance Controls, I think, start to finish was something like 10 months. Everything went together perfectly. And that building influenced them incredibly from, from then on. I always say I, I joined um, Team 4 on my 22nd birthday and I feel I never really left because the lessons I learned at Team 4 stay with me for the rest of my career. I always regard my, my, my finishing school, if you like, my real education and what set me up for life as an architect was that one year I spent at Team 4.